our senior members of the swim team. First up, Christine Maddie. Christian's being escorted tonight by his mother, Michelle Daddy, who has been swimming for four years. Also a member of the National Honor Society and the MAP National Honor Society, as well as the French National Honor Society. Upon graduation, Christian plans on attending the Citadel, like thank his friends, coaches, and family for all of their support. Ladies and gentlemen, Christian Natty. Just you two. Just mom and you guys are the first ones. You're doing great. <laughs> Mr. Liam Frondal. <laughs> Liam's being escorted tonight by his parents, Jeff and Laura Frondal. Been a varsity swimmer for five years. Is the captain of the swim team as well as a member of our Navy ROTC. He hopes to study electrical engineering and continue swimming. Upon exiting Hilton Island High School, I'd like to thank Coach Lane, Coach Johns, and all his teachers for their support. Ladies and gentlemen, Liam Fromnall. You guys were so good at this. <laughs> this is a Bob Holdo. Tonight by her father and mother, been swimming for the high school since seventh grade, as well as a member of the school record breaking 200 free relay team this year. Plans on going to college, but is undecided because she'd like to continue to swim wherever that may be. I'd like to thank her friends, family, coaches, and teammates for making high school the time of her life she will never forget. Ladies and gentlemen, Isabella Pondos. Katie's being escorted tonight by her father John. Her mom would love to be by their sides, but she's the only one taking the pictures. Katie's been on the varsity team for five years, swimming for 13. She serves as team captain, an all state team member of junior and senior year, the MVP of junior year, member of that same relay team that broke the school record. In addition to sports, she's an IBDP candidate. She's the National Honor Society Vice President, member of the Science National Historical Society, historian, as well as a member of the Math and Spanish NHS. We're good. That's the After end of it. After graduation, that. she's going to study and swim at St. Bonaventure in the Atlantic 10 and major in journalism. Ladies and gentlemen, Katie yeah. Lyons. Yeah. Danielle Sylvan. Wait, you guys wait. Yeah. This show is being escorted tonight by her okay. father, Royce. She's been playing tennis for five years. Stayed member of the, end of the National Honor Society. Society. Also a 2019 state champion and the 2019 All-Star Award winner. She plans on attending the four-year college, pursuing her academic and athletic career. I'd like to thank her friends, family, coaches, and teammates for all of her, all of their support, ladies and gentlemen, Danielle Sullivan. You see how we're doing it? No. You, you see how we're doing it, right? Three seniors. Jackson Arms. Jackson's being escorted tonight by his mother Rachel Arms and father Bryant. Been running cross country and track for three years. I'm decided as to where he continues or plans to continue attending his post-secondary education. I'd like to thank his parents and coaches for all their support during his time here at Seahawk Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jackson Irons. Mr. William Lemire. <laughs> William's being escorted tonight by his mother and father, Andrea and Derek Lemire. They're running cross country for four years. Plans 
that's going to head to Colorado Springs to attend the Air Force Academy after graduation. I'd like to thank his family for pushing and encouraging him through this sport, as well as his teammates and coaches, for a great senior cross country season. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. William Lyon. Jackson Ward. Escorted by his parents, Allison and Hutch Ward, Jackson's been running cross country for only a year. He plays guitar and piano, performs in restaurants around the island. Plans on pursuing a professional degree in engineering after exiting Hilton Island High School. I'd like to thank all of his coaches and his teammates for his Seahawk experience. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jackson Ford. <laughs> Nick's being escorted tonight by his mom and dad, Chris and Janet Bellini. Nick's on track for four years and also is a member of the track and field squad in the spring. He's undecided in a major or his exact destination, but will head to post-secondary education. I'd like to thank his mom and dad for all the support they've given him. Mr. Nick Gillen. escorted tonight by his parents. They've been running cross country and track for four years. Max goes fishing, hunting, working on motors in his free time. Plans to work his way into the marine tech industry after graduation. I'd like to thank his parents, family, and coaches for all their support, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Max Struna. to do her best, ladies and gentlemen, Anna Maria Reyes. cheerleader here. She's co-captain of the cheer squad. After graduation, she plans to attend the University of Alabama and study sports medicine. Thank you for your coach for dedicating so much of her time to our team. She's constantly putting 100% effort into each and every one of us. With her persistence, she have the best, happiest team we can be. Thank you for pushing me to be the best and the potential I never knew I had. And being someone I go to no matter the circumstance. She'll miss seeing her and everyone as she zooms by on her scooter in the hall. She's excited for the last few competitions of this season and believes that they will win. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Gracie Brand. Miss Taylor Hughes. Taylor's being a 
recorded tonight by her mother, Shelly Hughes, and Father Robbie Hughes, as well as stepmother Kristen Hughes, two little brothers Logan and Hayden. Taylor's participated in sideline and competitive cheer for three years. Co-captain of the varsity cheer team, a member of Beta Club and Student Government for three years. She's currently a dual enrollment student with the University of South Carolina Buford. Her highlights put on the coming home dance of student government and winning the game day state competition with her cheerleading team. She plans to cheer in college, hopefully for the Clemson Tigers. She'd like to focus on business, marketing, hopefully one day work in the entertainment and journalism industry. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Taylor Hughes.